Yeah, my name's Shane Young. I'm from Auckland, originally born in Napier. I train in mixed martial arts. I started wrestling when I was 11, and I started kickboxing and jiu-jitsu when I was 14, and I've been fighting for eight years now. Currently, I hold the XFC featherweight Australian title. I place nationally in wrestling. I represented New Zealand in 2011. Just pretty all good did. <laughs> The school I went to, sports were compulsory, and I've kind of always felt like a bit of an outsider. When wrestling came out, everyone was real anti-wrestling, so I gravitated towards that, just from trying to be like different, trying to go against the grain with everyone. But then I realized I actually really enjoyed the one-on-one the -on -one aspect of it, like the one-on-one -on -one competitiveness, rather than like the team base. Everything was up to me. If I did my training, I was gonna win. Within the next six months, my goal is to be in the UFC because I've had a good string of wins. And that's always been my goal from about 16 when I started winning fights and realizing I was actually really good at this. I just wanted to reach the highest level from then on. So yeah, this year, Ultimate Fighting Championship. Always been quite a curious person. I kind of discovered the spiritual aspect of martial arts, which is really lost in MMA. A lot of people forget about that. Martial arts, that's always been a been an aspect of it for thousands of years. One thing that really helped me was the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, because he's got a curious mind and I was just uh, attracted to that. And then I heard about float tanks through that podcast. And at that time I was a professional fighter and then float culture popped up and they'd only been open a couple months. And I've really enjoyed the float tank because of, um, I look at it as like a, almost like forced meditation. Like I've tried meditation for years and it's just, I find it so hard because I have quite a sporadic mind and it's very hard to like calm myself down. In the tank with the sensory deprivation, you're basically forced to just do work, do mental work, so. I think the float tank can benefit anyone from all walks of life because so many physical benefits. It's almost like having a full body massage as well as having an hour of meditation and leaving the tank you're always going to feel refreshed. Everything seems like a bit brighter, like the world just seems a bit bit cheerier and everyone needs that. Everyone's feeling pressure from different aspects. No one is super zen all the time. Basically if you're a human in the 21st century I think the float tank can benefit you because it's just good for your mental health, good for your physical health.